Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zedek T. Gradius Horuk. And as always, it is wonderful to see you all again, all for the first time, if you're just tuning in. And I'd like to welcome you all back once again with Late Night Bastards Gaming here on a Friday night with the Late Night Bastards, consisting of Craptastic, who is back from his reunion. Aro. We got Miss. As always, he's going to be playing Volk, because, you know, Volk. Then we have one Douglas Benning, hold the fries, and the uh, quarter round shake. He is going to be beans on the eggs for extra Englishness. Yep. He is going to be playing Wayon, but in a new body known as HK forty seven. Yes. Then we have one Mr. Sean with us today, playing Flashback as always. Mr. Sean. Yes, hello. There you go. And finally, we have the elf. Say hello, <laughs> elf. Hi, elf. You freaking needle ear. Just kidding, we have Leo playing Squirrel. The squirreliest of all. He shoves them nuts in his mouth and loves it. And, is and very gets paid more for it bird than you do in a month. And is very unhappy when he finds your bird feeder empty. So yes, last time, as we were explaining to uh, Crap, we went ahead and did a quick job, literally a quick job, it was considerably a milk run, only that was never said. Otherwise, we'd be charging triple. And the way this is now is that we have all of the drugs and a comlink that we have no idea what it does because it's encrypted. Government standard. Oh, and we also have 5,000 new yen now burning holes in our, in our cred sticks. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, I wanted to uh, take a look at that com link whenever we got some, some time here. Okay. You guys go ahead and do some role playing for a bit while I while I catch up. Cause you know, you get karma for role playing. Make it worth it. <laughs> Crap. Role plays. Where were we? Uh, I think we. I think we're currently at a. We're in Chicago. Where else? Would we... Let's see. Here. We're currently piled into Chaos's car, with. With what is love playing on the radio? No. Bobbing our heads. No. The uh, I'll pass. Honestly, the entire situation was almost too easy. I swear to God, this is going to bite us in the ass within the next week. Nah, we're currently in Wayon's van. Possible. We're currently in Wayon's van. Wayon is currently uh, doing whatever Wayon does. And we're discussing job. Um, yeah, what I'm doing is surfing several websites at the same time. And uh, I'm looking up how much... I'm trying to work out how much on average bum-fighting websites make. Depends. What fighting websites? Bum-fights. Uh, ah. Bum fighting and I would have to say it depends upon your PR. You gotta get advertising out there. But anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 new yen a, a week. Oh, a week? I, Jeez, I should get into that business. I was gonna say, I've got a new plan, guys. <laughs> of course, that would there's... almost pay my rent. Of course, there's a 30% chance per week that you're broken up by the cops. 
Uh, there are different, different hobos every week. What time of day is it? Mm. Let's see here. It is currently one in the morning. Okay. Um. Anybody in the mood for a better drink than that bar had to offer? Mm. I shrug. I don't care. Oh. I suggest I suggest we go to a low low quality place where lots of people are very drunk, though, because that sounds fun. Yeah, I'm down. But I'm not drunk. All right, then I'll take everyone to Paradise Lost. Uh, by the way, the uh, Hermes icon, that's the double one, is matte, matte black lime green trimmed. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Nice. Okay, so are you we're all going to a bar? Uh, a rave club. All right. But they have very good drinks. Do they got titty dancers? <clears throat> a, f a few. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there are go-go dancers who are trying to make their next... Uh, the next Nova Coke or Cram hit. They're also actual prostitutes. Oh yeah. You know, you know, a flashback plays his cards right. One of us might buy him a hooker. Hey, I could buy him a hooker. I was gonna say he could probably become a drug dealer all on all on his own with that stash. Right. Well, let's see. It's a hundred, so twenty Nova Coke for each of us, I believe. So yeah, if he want, if he wants to go dealing out Nova Coke, he can make himself for some friends real quick. I mean, and plus like, the the twenty that I have that get like premium price for. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you get some premium price for this shit. Okay, so you have multiple options in this case, as you as we all enjoy the beautifulness of the rave club and the go-go dancers and the boing 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 boing. Weon in his new body follows behind, quite interested in what a rave scene is. I should point out my new body does come with realistic features. So in a dark place, you might mistake me for a human. Well, meta human. Yeah. Mistake you for something. So yeah, go find somewhere to sit, I guess. Uh, squirrel more than likely already has two girls on his lap. One of them assigned to me. So yes. How, how how late is it? Uh, one thirty p.m. A.M. A.M. Okay, carry on. I'll, I'll do what I want to do after. Okay. But yeah, no. So we have multiple options here. If you can think of a contact that you wish to contact, if you will, analyzing the comm link, war dialing. Digital sharks and blood in the water. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much you have three options. Contacts, analyzing the comm link, and uh, just pressing random buttons on it and see who picks up. I'm interested in analyzing the comm link. Well, I figured while we're here, we'd talk to my friend about unloading all these drugs. Okay. 
Um, Chaos... I hope that's not Krogar. He'll just snort the coke himself. I fucking know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> no, this would be uh, Merrick Kalganov. Oh. But, yeah, Chaos wouldn't have any interest in keeping any of his share of the drugs, so he doesn't mind selling. Same here. I quit selling years ago. Wayon, you want drugs? Uh, I'll take a couple of drugs, yes. <laughs> Just, uh, I'll be back in like in a half hour and I, I, I'll either give them back to you or I won't. We'll see. Okay. Well, it's only restricted. That's fair enough. I don't mind that at all. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here. Uh, I'll I'll leave a I'll leave a I'll leave a mosquito uh, here and I'll go outside. But yeah, so I've already told you they've already noticed the second hidden device built into the comlink because you had what? a nice <laughs> a nice matrix perception test on that. Right. Oh, you do notice something though. They now they now that you're in like kind of a better area and everything like well not a barrier better area but now that you're resting you, yeah you notice something the data okay. the data on the second meta device is both encrypted and fragmented that's gonna be fun so oh did you also want uh, squirrel to sell your drugs. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't have much reuse for them. Okay. All right. If you just put the uh, list of them in the chat real quick. Oh, and uh, also tell him the specialty of the Red X. I assume when I show it to uh, Merrick, he'll recognize it for what it is. Yeah, the organization has a lot of people in it. Oh, crap. Just to let you know, the Red X means the organization. Volk doesn't know that, but... I mean, you guys can... Everyone can make an underworld knowledge check, but it's going to be difficult. Did I, did I not call for that last time? I am so sorry. You did not. No. I'm terribly sorry. Two successes. You know jack nothing. Oh, yes, Jack Nothing. Bit of a troubled character. <laughs> I think he has a brother. Jack Turner? Yeah, they're Jack Asian. Jack Shit? I think it starts with an S. Jack Shit? Jack Fuck All? I think there was another one. Did something with donkeys. Jack Ass. <laughs> Okay, so, yes, while our good friend there, wow, where the fuck did this all come from? Oh, okay. All right, so I'll make my way up to the uh, observatory and oh. go meet with Merrick. Uh, the red X means 90% sale price. 90%. Okay, yeah, I couldn't remember exactly. I thought it was, but that seemed really high. <laughs> nah, his stuff you could sell for pretty much uh, full value of the book. Almost. So yeah, you go ahead and deal with all that, all that stuff. Flashback. Yeah. How are you going to try and break the file protection? As uh, Vulcan Chaos start drinking from the vodka bottle they brought in. Um, give me one second. You have two options. Brute force or hack on the fly. Yeah, I'm going to hack on the fly, but... Um, give me one second here to bring up my information. Uh, what rate do you want me to sell the rest of it at? Uh, what's his loyalty with you? 
Four. Mm, I'd say he let, I'd say he'd pay you thirty percent. Seeing as how the default's like twenty five or something, he's kind of being a little bit more generous than usual. Plus, we got all this for free, so. Mo money, mo problems. You know, okay, so unless you want to try and can, unless you want to convince me otherwise. Okay, so can I get a idea of what kind of firewalls on this? Hmm. Digital napalm. <laughs> right. Um, doesn't state. So just roll a hacking plus logic with the sleaze as your limit. And this is going to be versus it. So this is going to be trying to get a mark on it. Volk? Uh huh? You're having a lot of fun. Because there, there are a lot of tits in the area. <laughs> How about 30% and we all get the VIP treatment for the night? You know what? You give him 100 doses of Nova, Nova Coke, he doesn't give two shits. Plus, deep weed. I figured. So I'll come back with uh, the money for everyone and say, by the way, whatever you want tonight's on the house. And I do mean anything. Two hits on the hacking plus logic. You notice a mark on you. Because, you know. Oh, no. Because, you know. Okay. You notice those things. Right. I'll uh, reset and try again. <laughs> Volk, you just heard Actually, everything's free. Fuck yeah, open bar. Uh, By the way, you do know the girls are available as well. Even better. Actually, b before I, I uh, give it another shot, I want to try to diffuse the, uh, the firewall a bit. Uh, this is going off the device rating completely. No firewall at all. Well, it would be it would still have a, be a firewall. It's just using the rating of the device. If you're using the rating of the device twice, it's it's the device plus firewall basically. Man, technically, you're not even going okay. against, you're not even going against the com link. Whatever's in it's just a storage device. Okay, fair enough. And I, I could... You're completely passed out for this, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm hot too. Is it a, uh, is it a host, or is it not? Nope. It's just... That doesn't count as a host. It's just a storage device. Looks like it just holds something. Well... Nothing happens there. Mm, tricky. Now you can probably get it. <laughs> right. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> so you got a mark right. on it. Which... You can attempt to crack file action. That's hacking plus logic with attack as your limit. Right, yeah. I just, uh, 
I want to look at the the data that's here and try to spot it, any kind of data bombs or anything that's on it. You have to crack open before the file I start. first. I thought I could look at the file. It's just... fragmented. Mm, it's true. All right, well, let's uh, let's try to crack it. You do not crack it. No uh, works. Right. Squirrel. Flashback has been unconscious for exactly... Well, he was awake when you when you left, he's asleep when you got there, and he's kind of been still asleep. What the hell did you guys give him? <laughs> uh, nothing yet, and I make sure none of my drugs are missing, or none of my toxins are missing. Chaos shrugs. Yeah. Don't look at me. He is getting pissed off, though. You can tell. My attack's not very good. Hmm. Upgrade that shit. I'll go and I'm try and shake I'll go and try and shake him. <laughs> I'm getting better rolls than this just because I'm, I'm limited by attack I'm only getting two successes that's my max oh screw it I'm gonna edge it there you go break through your limit break through the limit yeah that's, that's what I needed to do here all along break it through the limit that's better there you go, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. What's your overall? What's your Overwatch score, by the way? Um, should be pretty fresh. I just reset it. Okay, good. Like, when I really got a mark on me, I said I was resetting my person to this, so. Yeah. Is it anywhere near 20? Um, you get one point for each thing you do. Nah, it's, I don't think it's 10 yet. And I will say the club should be on a private host, so I'm not sure if God would be watching. God's always watching. God's always watching. Thought they didn't watch private hosts, or it's just corporate hosts they don't watch. Corporate. Ah. And it wouldn't matter because this is. I'm probably not act well. It's it's questionable whether it would matter because I'm I'm working on a, a separate device. Right as you're about ready to take a look, though, you get shook. You're shaking, not stirred. Meaning? Oh. Meaning, Lee, meaning Squirrel is currently shaking your shoulder. Okay, well, I'm going to... Um, I'm not going to, like, break out or anything. I'm just going to go temporarily back to Cold Sim. And be like, I'm... Kind of busy here, and I'm going to motion to, like, the deck that I'm holding in, under my lap. And the, the, the comm link next to it. <laughs> I didn't notice the deck, apparently? It'd be under the table. Anyway. You're able to read it pretty much now. And you're kind of noticing something. Okay. The information that's on this... That's on this... Is badly damaged mm -hmm. and garbled. Okay. You 
do figure, you do, with a little bit of uh, time and energy on your part, you find out that that's mostly because this is indeed a fragment. Like, meaning that there is multiple files that need to be brought together to read it. Hmm. And not all of them are on this device. Nope. Anyway, give me one second. Roll play. Roll play. Yeah, so I'm going to take a look around the uh, room and see if I can find any group of girls that are using AR. Squirrel. Or even VR. Squirrel, this is your place. I'm uh, fairly certain there will be somebody. Okay, cool. So I want to hack the girls. Uh, if I can find a group of girls where two or more of them are using VR, I want to hack the girls. I go through their com links for communications with their boyfriend and any private videos oh. that they have. Hmm. Okay. I did. If I, if I, I'm sorry. I did not catch all that. Didn't you? Okay, so I, I want to, if there's any girls in AR, um, I want to go through, I want to hack them, uh, which I'm assuming I can do. I can roll for that if you want me to. Um, and then go through their com links to find uh, any information about their boyfriends and any private videos that they've got. Mm. I will say the attempt to hack them would have at least a chance of raising security's heckles because the place is all about privacy. So I assume they have somebody watching digital space. Oh, uh, if there's too much security, I, I won't bother if that's an, if that's an issue. I'm not looking to um, I'm not looking to make God unhappy. Oh, well, it wouldn't be God. It would be private personnel. All right. So, so once I, I find out what's Going on with the thing. I'll, uh... That is the fragment that you have. Okay. Ears, terrorist groups. Oh, wait. Did that copy correctly? Oh, uh, there's a little bit before that. It's like, various terrorist groups such as Alamos 20,000 and the Humanist Police Club. Police Club. I have also I also have evidence that specifically links Bill to the murder of FBI agent Jennifer Kowalski, with whom this investigation originally began. I took over from Agent yeah. Kowalski on March 25th, 2074, when she requested my assistance. My previous case investigating Congressman James Gray was terminated when the congressman died in an unexplained plane accident in the Kerib League. I had not been assigned anything new, so I decided to help Agent Kowalski. When I was unable to find her at her apartment or through her comlink RFID system, I alerted my, my section chief at the Bureau. Two days later, Agent Kowalski's body was found hung from a flagpole on Renraku Corporation property near downtown Seattle downtown Chicago. He, he typoed. An official yeah. invas... Okay. Oh dear. Alright. If you want, you can have this display through everyone's AR. Yeah, I'll, uh... Once I, I finished and, and take my buddy from uh, Squirrel... I'll pass that along to everyone and be like, this is what was on the comm link. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, like part of something. By the way, Wayon, Douglas? Yes. Wayon gets a couple of juicy videos, uh, some boyfriend contacts, and whatever else he needs. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to spend the next few seconds, because, you know, I'm an AI, 
I edited those videos to make to make at least one of the girls look like they were with the other one's boyfriend, uh, and then accidentally text it to the other girl. <laughs> well, <clears throat> from the original girl saying, you know, something like, "Hey, honey, you want to do this again?" And you're not even warning the rest of us. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a couple of camera drones around them to see what happens. World star! Oh god! I was gonna say, did the camera drones have speakers on them that that shout "World Star" every few minutes or something? <laughs> they, they, they can do. What's World Star? Um, <clears throat> something stupid. It's a TMZ site where people post videos of people being stupid or getting into fights or shit like that. Yeah, there we go. Give me one sec. I'm currently trying to scroll all the way back up to the page I was currently on. There we go. Oh, you also... The key phrase for them to remember here is Operation Daybreak. Which appears on one of the. F Give the PCs the fragments of data on handout number one. Wasn't that all of them? That might have not been all of them. Give me one second. God damn it. Oh, you also learn a name Seth Dietrich. Oh, okay. You need all of these fragments. And one for the camera. Z Automation was an exercise in frustration. Despite my best efforts, both in the Matrix and on the streets, I could not find evidence of any solid connection between Brackhaven and Bill. Other than they both work for the city-state. I hope someone's taking notes. I was about ready to give in and go to my supervisor when my suspicions were confirmed about a cover-up in Agent Kowalski's death. Her autopsy reports were altered to make her death look like a suicide. Yeah, hung by a flagpole. But the originals indicated carefully hidden trauma in the throat. Consistent with a mono garot. See file number 4459B. Uh, by the way, you're currently recording a nice little uh, cat fight going on. Uh, you mean streaming a nice little cat fight going on. There you go. Oh, and uh, for Volk's pleasure, you do hear World Star being shouted out from somewhere. <laughs> it disturbs me to think that TMZ might still be around. <laughs> TMZ will never die. Haven's press secretary. Through a me, Madame George Mathers, Mathers had secretly contracted the copycat killer that murdered McAllister's daughter. Why does the name McAllister sound familiar? And now he was going after him. But someone was out to take, uh, take care of McAllister before that could happen. Another bomb ripped through the underground and almost killed McAllister. When I heard about this, something clicked in my mind, and I went back to my notes and realized that Stonewall was... It was a reference to a plan to remove McAllister from play. Again, I was figuring it out, but too late. And to do any good. Thankfully, McAllister survived. I tried to go back to the underground to spill my guts and tell them everything, hoping it would prevent more tragedies. Too bad I never made it there. McAllister wasn't the only one who had gotten someone's attention. On my way to the undergrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
that it was one of Bill's safe house staging areas. There was no guarantee that Bill would be there, but I had nothing else at this point. So my team and I, yeah, I was a real shadow runner now, did what all runners do. We scouted the place, did our legwork, and then <coughs> blew open the front door. I'm sorry, shadow runners don't exactly blow open the front door. Speak for yourself. Sometimes. After a quick little firefight with a few gangers hired to watch the place, we hit pay data. Located in a vault in the back of the safe house. Safe house were several data chips with not only detailed plans about the fire bombings and the attempt on McAllister, but about an upcoming operation labeled Daybreak. See number 4471 Charlie. What I read among the files made me sick. This was an order for wholesale, wholesale murder and, un, and wanton destruction. That's it. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Well, I'd like to do a matrix search for... But, yeah. So, key phrases, Operation Daybreak, also contains <laughs> correctly identified as the name of the comic's owner, Seth Dietrich. And you can get nothing else from the comlink using technical skills until the second, until all that, uh, everything else is found. Uh, <coughs> and yeah, you know, you know that it's missing half of its total data. Right. Uh, I like to do like a basic search for uh, Dietrich, uh, Daybreak, McAllister. See how I start putting some faces to these names. Kowalski. Well, let's go in order that the book does. Okay. So. Okay. Let me scroll all the way back down. <laughs> scroll, bitch. Okay, for so for Seth Dietrich, you can either use a corporate contact street or criminal contact, or law enforcement contact. One second. For the matrix, I want you to make a matrix search, threshold three, base time 30 minutes. And that's about it. So if you also have... Uh, <laughs> That's about 20 minutes. But yeah, so pretty much uh, if you also have uh, knowledge of. So pretty much if you have knowledge law enforcement, knowledge uh, street criminal, or knowledge corporate you could also use that but if you have a corporate contact a street or criminal contact as well as law enforcement contact you could use that to get information as well i could certainly make a few calls is this something we're looking to pursue well unless you guys want to put down the book altogether I'm being in character, asking the team if this is something they want to do. Uh, I'm happy to do anything. I'm just, uh, I just think you Americans, not using the word meatbags, are funny. I just like watching you. Americans? I just, I'm Irish. Irish. You, uh, uh well, you wanted to, to get the information off the cob like this is what's on it. Crap. Well, sounds sure like not. yes. 
I'm pretty sure you have a street or criminal contact. Uh, mutt, probably, yeah. Yeah, you can use them. <clears throat> Sounds like he was somehow associated with the FBI. Why don't I call uh, Dana? <coughs> see if she knows the guy. She would be considered want, law enforcement. If we want to get any, any money out of this, we're probably going to have to figure out who these people are. So, I'll, I'll do some searching on the Matrix. I'll see if Mutt knows anything. So, yeah, go ahead and roll whatever the frick you think their knowledge rolls would be. Ah. Charisma plus etiquette plus loyalty. Let's hear. You can also buy the information for 250 new yen per level. Six successes. Okay. Four. If you want to pay an extra 250 new yen, you can get the top level of uh, street or criminal contact information. I'd be willing to. I'd be willing to throw that in if you want. Two fifty per level, you said. Yep, and you're close to the top level. You got one more until top level, so two fifty. All right, two fifty. All right, so we'll go in order, starting with Mutt. Okay. Let's see here. A G-Man, around the time of the Orc Underground controversy blew up last year. He was hitting the shadows hard, trying to dig up dirt in Brackhaven. Heard he was getting close to something that would bury Brackhaven. Then the guys he was working with got geeked. Their bodies turned up floating in Puggett's sound. Dietrich's body wasn't found, though. When he was last around town, Dietrich was teamed up with the whole Shadowrun crew. He'd gone native. He was wandering around with an orc decker named Torin, a shaman called Three Feet, a street Sam named Bingo, and a rigger named Dice. They're all dead now, except for Torin. I'll go ahead and uh, copy and paste those names for you, by the way. Okay. Torin, Bingo, and Dice, and I forgot the shaman's name. Uh, three face or something like that. Three feet. Oh. <clears throat> also, if I don't do too many voices because my throat's freaking raw as hell, I should not drink soy products ever again. But I, <clears throat> I love you who. You who has soy? Yep. More you know. So, much just like, <clears throat> yeah, thanks for the business there, bub. Uh, should, should warn you, though, a little bit dangerous. Be, care, be careful what you're doing, all right? You're my favorite customer. <laughs> Heck, you're my only customer nowadays. Hold what? on, I got a customer coming in. Uh-huh. Anyway. So you give Miss D.A. a call. Bring, 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 bring. I like a big butts and I cannot lie. You other <laughs> brother can't deny. Kind of makes you go, what? Ah, uh, yes, an old classic. So, yeah, you get around, you ask her about Seth Dietrich. And... Going from uh, lowest to top. 
but without mentioning zero because because zero is that's above my pay grade, Chummer. FBI agent, Fed hacker, real Boy Scout, do good, a white knight, ass kicker for the forces of good law and order. He's been off the grid for almost a year now. He's X U C A S Army C I D. Made his bones infiltrating this gang of Matrix thieves, the Code Snatchers, that was stealing airliners out of SeaTac back in the seventy. Hmm. Around last year in November, he was digging up serious dirt on Governor Brackhaven. Word is that he flew too close to the fire and got burned. And after a quick pause, because she kind of mentions uh, he's been silent for a year, yada yada. Look, you ask me, I think Dietrich is still alive, still putting together his dossier, his insurance policy, and still looking for the perfect way to see Brackhaven hang without getting geeked in the process. The fact he's fallen off the grid just goes to show that he had, doesn't even trust the Bureau anymore. But every Fed I know still venerates the guy. Hardcore. He's their hero. Then, Mr. Matrix Search. Dietrich's status is listed as MIA in the internal database of the uh, USCAS Federal Bureau of Investigation. Congratulations, hacker. It has been since November of 2074. At that time, he was investigating a conspiracy involving Governor Brackhaven. Around November of last year, Seth Dietrich uploaded a file that appeared on several data havens, including Jack Point and Shadow Sea. The file linked Seattle Governor Kenneth Brackhaven to a criminal conspiracy against the Orc Underground. Notes accompanying the posting indicated that Dietrich went missing immediately after it was uploaded. Holy shit. Crap. What? They mentioned Jake Armitage. What was the governor's name? Ha! Ah. Uh, Brackhaven. Brackhaven, okay. Nah, they, down here they actually mentioned Jake Armitage, a data courier and shadow wow. active in the 2050s. Yeah, that makes sense. Jake has kind of assumed mythical, mythological status in the canon since the SNES oh. game was kind of a cult hit. Right. The SNES game was a cult hit back in the day. Dude. I know why Jake Armitage is mentioned here. As I read, I'm like, ooh. Is he dead? <laughs> nope. Doesn't mention that. Well, Morton doesn't say anything like that. So. By the way, that Matrix search was uh, not publicized information on him. Okay, right. Okay. Now then, you could do the same roles for Operation Daybreak. Only <coughs> corporate or law enforcement contact is the same thing. Matrix search. Yep. Google search. Ah. You accidentally went to Yahoo. You scrub. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, squirrel, honey. You know you can do a little bit better than that. Why don't you promise me a little something on the side and I can give you some better information. You Next broke up there for me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was that? You're breaking up with me. Ha. Uh, last I heard was, Squirrel, you can do a little better than that. Why don't you... Offer me a little something extra. Uh, what's a 10d6 
floor. You said it was an extended test, didn't you? Nope. I thought it was for the Matrix search. It was half hour per search. Oh, right. Right, that one is. So it took me an hour and a half to get four successes? Nope. You know what, I'll, I'll spend an edge is, and just go ahead and re-roll that last is, one. No, you could just pay 250 Or, or you I could spend a point of edge. Or you could promise her sex. Well, if that works, uh, how about uh, dinner tomorrow night? There you go. And, and a show. It, it takes you three hours to get information on Operation Daybreak. Oh, an hour each? Okay. Yep. I'm happy to promise Am I still trying to get sex? three? I'd like to point out that my attachments are of variable size, and I can go for hours. <laughs> At least until his capacitors are... Yeah, his capacitors give out from too much moisture accumulation. No, I'm waterproof. <laughs> uh, crap, you gonna ask uh, Mutt anymore? Uh, fuck it, why not? What about this Operation Daybreak shit? Another four. Hmm. Again, another 250 and you can get the max. Fine. <clears throat> you don't know shit. Okay, thanks, bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd make you kill your contact. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I've heard the guys in the Orc Underground talk about it. Maybe something to do with a fire that was started down there a couple of years back. A lot of the OU blames Brackhaven for the attacks, but they've never been able to prove it. There's a conspiracy theory file I've seen floating around on the Shadow Net. It alleges that before the Proposition 23 vote, Brackhaven was going to assassinate a bunch of Orc Underground community leaders, then hire a bunch of runners to frame a crime wave on the Underground. To justify cracking down on them harder with Knight Errant. It's a pretty popular theory in a certain set, and I wouldn't put it past Brackhaven. But if it's going to stick, someone needs to find some proof. <sighs> Look, I know your I know your feelings on orcs and all them and all them people. But this from what I heard, this is not this is not good because this actually kills a lot of business. All them big guns you like. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> and for you, Squirrel. And I'm sorry if they come out sounding Western. I'm sorry. Actually, no. Salavi. Actually, no. She's Asian, isn't she? She is. But that, not... that last accent you did for Mutt almost sounded like a Latino guy from the Bronx. <laughs> but you gave her an American accent last time. Not a racist one. Oh, oh she made it all night long. <laughs> <laughs> a, a plan Governor Brackhaven allegedly came up with. A sort of final solution to the meta problem? Really? They had to put <laughs> it. They had to put in quotations. Final solution. It's only floated around totally discredited shadow nets and VPNs, so it hasn't penetrated the public conscious yet. If Brackhaven could be definitely tied to it, it might mean the end of his career. Though, Dietrich D. D it is allegedly that Dietrich grabbed this file called Operation Daybreak from the safe house of one of Brackhaven's high-ranking bully boys. If it's real, it's beyond damning. I've heard that Dietrich uploaded it to a VPN called Jackpoint, and they've just been sitting on it. Interesting. And yeah, yeah, pretty much literally frickin' Hitler. <coughs> they are Definitely, literally, Hitler. <coughs> so now, what you find on the internet. Like, oh my gosh, a popular... Like, Although a this, popular uh... conspiracy theory that states that 
Governor Kenneth Brackhaven wants to fund a genocide of the Orc underground to stop Prop 23 or something like that. No one who any no one who anyone takes seriously takes it seriously. But like totally on file four four six two found on conspiracy sites, it's allegedly written by Kenneth Brackhaven's operatives and outlines a plan for something called Operation Daybreak. The operation is intended to prevent the passage of Proposition 23 by highlighting the dangers of Orc Underground. According to the file, this will be achieved by hiring operatives to commit random and various crimes and plant evidence framing Project Freedom, as well as preventing the truth from coming out of eliminating members of Project Freedom. Using deniable assets in order to increase the public level of fear and hatred among against Project Freedom and the Orc Underground, the file is becoming increasingly difficult to find. <clears throat> oh yes, Shug, but the file originated on an elite shadow VPN known as Jackpoint. The poster was the Chicago fixer McAllister, known around those parts as the Hacker Bull. But the original finder of the document is supposed to be a Fed, FBI agent Seath Dietrich. Okay. Well, that information won't be available probably till morning, because it took me three hours to find it, but... Yeah. But, uh, prop, Proposition 23, because we have a D, assistant DA here. A Proposition 23 was to acknowledge the Orc Underground as a... Official actual. district. Exactly. Ah, uh, fuck me. Which, you know, would be good and bad, depending on whether or not you were a criminal element. <laughs> well, we are criminal elements. One sec. <laughs> 